Hi, Dave here. I thought we might take a quick look at the Tektronix 2247A 100 MHz oscilloscope with 200 MHz integrated counter timer. It's one of the least talked about oscilloscopes, but if you're in the market for 100 MHz or less, it's a very nice scope and has a lot of functions that you would only find in today's digital oscilloscopes, but this is a purely analog scope, but its front panel controls and uh, signal sampling is microprocessor driven, but it truly is a analog scope. <coughs> It has a basic layout, volts per division, time base, triggering, menu measurements, intensity, focus, readout. Just like uh, pretty much any modern scope these days, even modern digital scopes have this type of layout. Scopes from way back when would have their display right in the center with uh, their voltage per division controls on the left and their time based controls on the right. And I first noticed this type of layout back in the 80s, which the scope did come out towards the mid late 80s. And they've, uh, most scopes have retained this type of arrangement, front panel arrangement. And Tektronix has always had a good layout even when they had their screens in the center and the knobs to the side they were they were arranged logically from the size and the and the layout of the scopes back then but these days you generally find this type of layout channel A channel B time base triggering connections at the bottom so we'll have a look at some of the some of the measurement capabilities. We're looking at a square wave. It's measuring one kilohertz from the integrated counter timer. You can also look at period with totalized events, frequency ratio, and you can go to a gated measurement and pick certain areas you want to uh, to have a look at. Quite handy. You also have your standard cursor measurements. Frequency, phase. Rise and fall time, which is quite handy. But you might have to increase signal amplitude and it will automatically give you the readout fall time and some different things you can set the reference track peaks propagation delay time you want to compare two signals an input signal on an inverter and then the output and see what the propagation delay time is cursor volts And you can track those measurements. Which it's not going to. Oh, that's uh, with the voltmeter. Excuse me. Peak to peak. And if your voltage is changing over time, it'll track it in real time. If you look at DC volts, you can use it as a voltmeter. Plus peak minus peak, peak to peak, and also some gated. It also has a self calibrate. It also has the auto setup, which you usually see in digital scopes these days. And it's very quick compared to today's digital scopes. Boom. There you got your measurement.
horizontal position, your vertical position, standard dual trace scope, channel 1, add, channel 2, channel 3, channel 4. Has two extra channels for four channels. But they're basic, just plus 5 volts or 0.5 volt. Or is this 0.1? No, 0.1. Standard horizontal, time base A, alternate, time base B, and XY, plus times 10, magnification. Quite a few trigger options, auto level, auto, normal, TV line, TV field. Vertical, channel 1, 2, 3, 4, line, DC, noise, high frequency reject, low frequency reject, AC. And your intensity, B intensity, focus and readout, scale illumination. And power switch. But it's a really good scope. It's easy to service. It's all through hole components. Uh, quite reliable. I have two of them. And they work uh, really well. It's highly recommended. Uh, you might check out my other video that I have. It's uh, It talks about the 2200 series portable oscilloscopes. And uh, talks about uh, some of the advantages and functions of them if you care to have a look. So anyway, this is just kind of a quick overview of the 100 megahertz oscilloscope 2247A. And uh, it's highly recommended scope if you need 100 megahertz or less. And you can find them fairly cheap, you know, $100, $300 on the used market. Quite reliable. And uh, I guess that's about it. So we'll see you next time. Bye.